hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to detect the human position with the help of media pipe but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and just let's get started so friends first you need to install the open cv on the raspberry pi 4 okay I have already created the video how to install the OpenCV on Raspberry Pi 4. So watch the video and install the OpenCV. I have already installed it OpenCV. Okay. Then if you want to use the USB camera module, you can use a USB camera module. If you want to go with the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module, I have already created the video how to configure the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module for the Raspberry Pi okay so watch the video and just enable the camera module the raspberry pi 4 camera module as i told you you can of course use of course use here a usb camera module also okay but i'm going to use here our raspberry pi 4 camera module okay so i have enabled the raspberry pi 4 camera module now friends simply i have installed the open cv the camera module also configure it so basic thing already done so now we need to install the media pipe module so sudo pip3 install media pipe sudo pip3 install media pipe hyphen r54 okay this is the module name the media pipe hyphen r54 suppose if you are using the raspberry pi 3 model simply you need to remove the 4 and just mention 3 okay but right now i am on the raspberry pi 4 so i need to mention the r pi 4 if you are on the raspberry pi 3 you need to simply mention the 3 and just hit enter it will install media pipe hyphen r pi 4 or maybe r pi 3 on the raspberry pi i have already installed it that's why it says here the requirement is already satisfied so we have done with the open cv and media pipe is also installed now we are going to simply run our code so sudo tony and just hit enter it will open the tony editor and as you can see i have here already created the video capture uh, file okay you need to simply create the uh, new file and you know how to create it or inside the uh, tony editor simply you need to go here a uh, file click on new and it will create an uh, untitled simply mention uh, the mention any name you need to simply click on save and give any name that, like this would test.py and click on ok and then the file will be saved ok the file will be saved ok so i have already uh, the test.py test dot is uh, here already so that's why it says here you need to replace so i have just replaced it so simply create the new file and inside that file you need to import this module so import cv2 for open cv then we are going to use here our media pipe module so import media pipe as mp then capture cv2.video capture which we are going to use always for capturing the video frame so cv2.video capture 0 0 is basically because i have here a first camera so 0 then while true this is what our while loop and then the rate and the frame then uh, we are going to capture the uh, frame from here so capture variable capture dot read then flip the frame then frame one it will resize the frame and it will resize 640 width and 480 height and then we are going to show the frame then k key is, is equal to basically the cv2 dot weight key and if key is equal to order if i place the q from the keyboard the while loop will be closed and the frame will be closed that's it so this is what the basic code for capturing the frame now if i run the code raspberry pi 4 camera module will be start and we can detect basically live frame okay so what is the problem okay i have mentioned it here rgb underscore image i need to mention frame one that's it save it and the code and as you can see we have here our live frame okay we have here a live frame so we are done with the basic setup our frame is ready okay now we are going to use our media pipe module so 
So simply from here, after the capture, we are going to mention some variables. So first, we are going to use here mp underscore pose. mp underscore pose is basically what? So friends, as you can see here, I have mentioned here uh, some variables, the three variable, and inside that variable, we need to mention the mp.solutions.pose. Okay, the solutions from the MP because import media pipe as MP. So MP, this MP over here, mp.solutions.pose. Then this is what the draw function. So mp.solutions from mp.solution, we are going to use here a drawing underscore utils. So this MP capital D draw variable is basically our mp.solutions dot drawing underscore utils that's it then again the third variable is the pose so this pose is basically mp underscore pose dot capital p pose that's it so this is how we can call our solutions inside these three variable one by one okay that's it now we have our three variable ready with our solutions now simply we are going to use this in our while loop so after the frame where we resize after the cv2 dot resize we are going to first convert our frame in our bgr to rgb format so simply rgb underscore img this is just a variable inside that cv2 dot cvt color okay cv2 dot cvt color cvt color and then we are going to mention inside our frame one because we want to convert our frame frame is basically our video capturing live frame frame one into bgr2 rgb format so cv2 dot i forgot to mention the comma so cv2 dot color underscore bgr2 rgb that's it bgr2 rgb bgr2 rgb like this way so this frame one we are going to convert it with bgr2 rgb format now if i go here and if i just show the rgb underscore img save the code and run the code we will have the rgb format frame okay as you can see this frame is basically this video capture is basically in rgb format that's it bgr2 rgb format now we are going to use here our pose variable so result which we call the variable result is equal to what this pose this pose pose dot process and it will process with our rgb underscore img so rgb underscore img this rgb underscore img is basically our rgb image format okay so we have now our uh, pose dot process it will process the rgb image then we can basically now print the result result dot we are going to use here a pose underscore landmarks so pose underscore landmarks that's it now friends we have all the done with basically we have done with the pose module we can say here now we can from here we can basically we will have the coordinates okay so now i'm going to start the video from my mobile and it will detect the coordinates okay so save the code and i'm going to start the video from my mobile okay so friends i have started the video inside my mobile and we, our script is ready we have our print function and inside that we use our result dot pose dot landmarks now we can basically get the coordinates so if i run the code the camera started we have our frame and here as you can see we have basically the coordinates but the frame is basically in bgr2 format so what i forgot here i need to 
remove this rgb underscore img and we need to mention simply our frame one that's it again save the code run the code and as you can see the main thing is what we have our landmarks as you can see here the landmark and x and y and z coordinates also we have here a visibility so we successfully detect the landmarks okay from our media pipe uh, pose okay so save it now we have our coordinates now with the help of our drawing module we can basically draw the coordinates so simply friends we are going to now draw the coordinates with the help of this mp draw function which we created okay so which we created here mp draw okay so we are going to use this mp draw here after the print we are going to call our variable mp draw is just a variable which we are going to call over here mp draw dot draw underscore draw underscore landmarks okay then inside that we have we want to draw our landmarks on our frame so mention the frame one then we are going to use this result dot pose underscore landmark so copy it after the comma just paste okay that's it then again after that we need to mention the comma and then we are going to use mp underscore pose and mp underscore pose dot pose underscore connection pose underscore connection that's it mp dot draw variable which we are going to use dot draw landmarks where we want to draw this landmark we want to draw this landmark on our frame one and then this is what the result dot pose underscore landmark so result dot pose underscore landmark then comma mp underscore pose then pose connection it will it will draw basically the connections with the help of the coordinates because we have our coordinates so it will complete the connections using mp underscore pose dot pose connection that's it now i'm going to simply run again the video and we are going to save the code first okay let me start my video first from mobile save the code run the code and we will have now the coordinates with the draw on our frame as you can see here we have successfully draw the coordinates on our frame and also x y z and the coordinates also are available. so if i just start the frame start my video from the cam mobile not camera basically so as you can see the video is started and our uh, media pipe module is also detected the pose or we can say we are basically able to uh, detect the coordinates as you can see here okay so friends this is how we can detect the pose with the help of media pipe using our raspberry pi 4 camera module on raspberry pi 4 as i told you you can use here a usb camera module also so i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you to canon bye bye